When I designed the Argo Kite, one of my goals was to make it easy to relaunch. What we've done with the 2012 Argo is we've made it pretty much hands-free relaunch. If you crash the kite, you can pretty much just let go of the bar. It will gently roll over and slowly work its way to the edge of the wind window where there is the least power and it will sit there on its side waiting for you to grab the bar, pull it in and launch it up into the sky. If you're riding or you're learning and you crash the kite, almost every time without fail it just sits on its wingtip and waits for you to grab the bar, pull it in and keep riding. Even if you manage to crash the kite directly downwind with uh, testing on the 7 meter and about 20-25 knots, it depowers, rolls on its side, works its way to the edge of the window and just sits there waiting for you. Um, it's actually pretty hard to get this kite to just, you know, not relaunch. Um, it really is probably one of the most easiest to launch kites I've ever seen. Uh, and definitely the easiest to relaunch kite we've ever made. So, um, yeah, that's the Argo hands-free relaunch. Uh, if you're a school or if you're getting into kiting and you want a kite that's easy to relaunch, I really think there probably isn't another kite out there that can relaunch as simply as this one does. Uh, literally, just if you crash it, you just wait, and it pretty much does the job for you. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm the designer for Griffin Kites, and uh, uh, see you later. So this is the 13 meter Argo in probably I don't know 12 knots, 13 maybe, I don't know 10. Uh, I put it directly downwind, let go of the bar, so I'm not touching the bar at all and it pretty much just turns over, works its way to the edge of the window, and uh, sits there. Uh, again, more testing, trying to crash it, and uh, yeah, straight onto its side, and just waiting for you to grab the bar and off you go. Uh, we've done the testing with the 7 and the 13, even in light winds, this thing just relaunches really nicely. Um, this is me actually trying to put it on its front, um, and as you can see, it uh, just wants to get back out there again. Uh, it's actually pretty tricky to um, put yourself in a situation where you can't relaunch it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, beach relaunch is pretty easy, but IKO says you should never do a beach relaunch, you always get an assisted launch. Uh, but I was just testing to see what it does on the beach. So, piece of cake. And uh, yeah, more time riding, less time getting frustrated trying to relaunch your kite.